all the other stuff all the other stuff um, let's see this hair wraps up this way but there's a dark tone right here which means another piece of hair is going that way <clears throat> let's go ahead and darken that up Actually, I'm just going to start darkening that area up since you won't be able to see anything anyways normally. So this kind of gives the illusion there's a piece of hair here. There's another piece of hair here. There we go. This one folds up and around it. A nice dark spot right here. So there's, there's a few strands right there, so let's go and work with that right now. With hair, I usually follow the actual direction of the hair myself. So, just really, really dark here. It fades out a little bit. Just like the the rest of your features, you're just gonna build up really slow. Let's see, we'll get rid of this hard edge line here. Soften it up a little bit so it doesn't look like a. And so you can also use the eraser to put in little highlights if you want. See if I'm just brushing down, it creates little highlights like that. Make sure it's a nice sharp edge you got here. See like this. Takes a little bit off of there. <clears throat> and then keep on building on it. You know, can't hurt. See that? Good. Drawing out, or move this photo out of the way, so give me just a little bit more room here to work with. And you notice I haven't sharpened my pencil in forever, so let's go and do that. I'm being really bad this time around. I usually sharpen a lot more. Alright, so immediately I notice after this tuft of hair here. I'll make it a little more prominent here. Comes in, tucks in. There we go. Then there's a gigantic spike of hair right off the side here, and then a dark spot right here.
of dark in this area here. Kind of probably kind of stands out to here somewhere. All right, you guys get the idea on that side. Um, same thing with the other side. You're just gonna do um, exact kind of uh, method. You know, I've got a few strands coming out of her forehead like this. Kind of wraps out like this. Here, As she comes in like this, and these come out from behind, and then. There we go. So, does this little deal right here. So, I want to draw on this side just so I can show you. I want to draw this piece right here. So, the neck is actually going to be designated by this dark tone right here, which I'm going to draw and get it right in there and just draw it here. Now that I draw, now this is called negative space, and you can utilize the negative space to, to uh, shape your uh, figures and your uh, uh, features of anatomy as well. So basically, there's a big dark black spot right here, just void black. And I'm just gonna fill it in, and what that does is once I fill it in, it'll give, it'll, it'll, it'll tell. First of all, I'll tell you where the neck is, and it'll tell you where part of the hair is. So uh, negative space is really a, a beautiful thing. So. Give it a try. All right, see that? So now once you fill it in, now you know where her neck is, you know, where the side of her hair is. So all the hair comes out over here, like so. And similarly, if you're just lazy, you can just draw a few strands of it here and there and make it kind of look like hair if you really wanted to. There's actually more hair, but I ran out of paper. So what I'm doing is I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to post this up on Flickr. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, especially you, Zomo, and Picasso Paul. Uh, this video is made for you. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. I'm on uh, Flickr, and you know uh, what my email is. So go ahead and drop me a line. Let me know how I did. Um, or if you you know, have any questions about um, uh, my techniques or anything like that. Uh, feel free to just drop me a constructive criticism. I'll be happy to respond. All right, so from me, Jason, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.